another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be game two of the first set of Fighting Spirit Mania, the winner's bracket final between DeWalt and Bonneth. Just in case you guys aren't aware how Fighting Spirit Mania works, it is seven best of sevens. So to win, you got to win four out of seven games to take one set, and then you need to win four sets. Unless, I guess, people call a draw or something down the line. And that's been going for... A, and, and it's double elimination. So you have the top bracket and the bottom bracket. So this is the winner's bracket final. So whoever finishes this only needs to defeat whoever comes out of the loser bracket final once more, at which point it'll be the grand final. So this is... Whoever wins this moves on to the grand final, but whoever loses still gets to fight in the loser bracket final to potentially get a rematch. So it might not have just been one best of... So there, there might yet be another best of seven, best of seven, between Bonneth and DeWalt is what I'm saying. Upper left-hand corner, by the way, DeWalt starting as the black Protoss, bottom left-hand corner. Bonneth starting as the orange Protoss. And mostly I'm doing this because I'm kind of trying to figure out content to do in between. What I might do is, is start up uh, New Vegas play here. Or, I don't know, I'll figure it out as we go. I'll let you know what my plans are as I move forward. Gateway down for both players. Bonneth is almost default a double gate opener, but this time opening up Assimilator first. Assimilator first as well for DeWalt. Bonneth sending out Scout on 12, which we saw as a differential in the previous match, obviously. Bonneth still ended up winning that previous match. It looks like he's going to go ahead and scout the middle of the map just in case. Making sure that there aren't proxy gateways. That's one thing on Fighting Spirit that's kind of the classic proxy gateway like location. Try to plop it right in the middle. In the meantime, I'm going to scout bottom right-hand corner. Going for a counterclockwise movement. Cybernetics core warping in for both. And I will say between these two, as far as their heads at play, DeWalt... Honestly, it's... How do I say this? A lot of people think DeWalt is actually the best player in the foreigner scene. And really, it's the argument between these two guys. But for whatever reason, when these two guys go head-to-head, -head, more often than not, Bonneth has his number, particularly in the PvP matchup. And it might just be that DeWalt is incredibly strong in his versus Zerg, incredibly strong in his versus Terran, where I think actually Bonneth and his versus Terran, that, that can sometimes be a weak spot. He's just incredibly strong across, which is saying something. I think his Reaver Micro in that matchup is phenomenal. So it's not like, that's not me calling it weak by any stretch of the imagination. It's still incredibly strong. It just is, out of the three matchups, might be his weakness. Might be his weakest out of the three. But regardless, in heads up play, for whatever reason, DeWalt has faltered more often than not, so I think he has a lot to prove. And in Fighting Spirit Mania, it'll be kind of good practice having so many sets against arguably his nemesis. The guy who stopped him, who's knocked him out, who's stopped him from taking BSL championships and other championships time and time again. Probe Scouts taken out on both sides of the map. Dragoon kill right there. Dragoon scouting to the left-hand side, just in case. Looks like we are seeing robotics facility and range upgrade for Bonneth. Looks like robotics facility and range upgrade opposite corner. So it looks like basically a mirror build, almost down to the uh, the tick here. It's like if I switch between the cybernetic score, you don't see much difference as far as when it was started. Just showing you how on par these guys are as far as their build orders and whatnot. And as I, the big difference here is that DeWalt's going to be slightly ahead in the supply count just because of the earlier scout from Bonneth. And actually, I think that DeWalt, after getting that initial scout, drew it back. I should have paid a little bit more attention. Three gateway follow-up. Still no additional gateways out from DeWalt. He's plopping down an observatory and a robotics to support bay instead. Theoretically, this is defendable by DeWalt if he gets that Reaver out rapidly. But it's still going to come down to some micromanagement. He's got to protect that Reaver. 
usually what Protoss players are going to do from this stage is get a lot of Dragoons out, flood that natural expansion, and try to deny it as long as possible while getting their own natural expansion up. Observatory online for Bonneth as well. And it can be a challenge, especially if there's follow-up pressure. What I really love seeing players do, actually, Protoss players, is when they manage to sneak in. Slight pause, I need to say hi to Dead Infested, it's a rule. Hi, Dead Infested. Out in chat. I love seeing uh, when you have clever play where Dragoons are pinning troops to the front and you have that shuttle and weaver behind it wreaking havoc in other locations. Haven't seen it in quite some time, though. First Reaver being produced, it's not going to have that shuttle support. DeWalt saving up minerals to go ahead and plant his Nexus after one gate. But is going to be running headlong into a lot of troops and is going to need to retreat to the high ground. Gets the Observer pick off, which is actually pretty significant. But Bana still got eyes on the troops, is engaging on the low ground. The Zealot's not able to get damage done. Focus Fire also buying time for this Reaver to get out. The Reaver shot targeting that Zealot first. It needs to be targeting bunches of Dragoons. And now Bonneth momentarily going to have to back out. And DeWalt able to hold the low ground. So not drawing his troops back up. To deny the push into his natural expansion. Now needs to desperately protect that Reaver. He's going to have... Bonneth is going to have a second shot with seven Dragoons. You can see how exposed this Reaver is going to be. Second Reaver in production, additional Dragoon. It's going to take some time. So that Reaver is very vulnerable. But if Bonneth can just spread the Dragoons out, jump on top of it, the Observer is going to let him know just how few troops he's up against. Second Reaver making its way to the low ground and the timing just not quite there. DeWalt... Feeling the advantage of the two Reavers pressing forward. Not able to take out Bonus Observer. Actually ends up losing his own. And the two Reavers now going to hold. Bonneth still going to go ahead and grab his natural expansion behind this. Although it's going to come out slightly later. Going to be a bit before that Observer has any counter pressure as that shuttle needs to pop out first. So at least in the early matches, DeWalt holds his natural expansion now online. However, a Reaver and a Shuttle being produced for Bonneth as well. And this is going to give... I think this is something that Bonneth loves. And part of the reason he's so strong is he's just so aggressive. He loves taking position outside that natural expansion. And being the one to poke in with those Reaver shots. And more often than not, catches his opponent just in a little bit of a misposition. Gets a little bit more splash than his opponent does. And ends up sailing that to an advantage. DeWalt trying to hunt that Observer, able to get a shot off on it, needs to be careful to protect his own. Sees that the Reaver and the Shuttle are alongside. Two Reavers piling forward, Bonneth engaging, loses his Reaver immediately in the fight. So DeWalt committing to the attack. And the split fire, not enough distance to prevent the splash, and Bonneth going to GG immediately. DeWalt crushing that attack force. So DeWalt's, so I, I should say Bonnet's characteristic aggression not paying out for him this time as DeWalt, maybe it was the uh, memory serves. What looks like happened is, is he targeted the Dragoon that was hugging the shuttle, so he ended up getting the, the splash fire. So let's take a look at that engagement once again. So it's one Reaver versus two, but superior. So let's pause it right here to get the full count here. So you got ten Dragoons. Versus just six, but you got the two Reavers, which is, this is the advantage right there. So sneaking forward, taking the shot. Now here's the shot. He targets the Dragoon that's next to the shuttle, and it unloads immediately next to that Dragoon. We'll go back and slow-mo that, uh, slow motion that moment. I don't know if that was heads up on DeWalt or bad luck for, for Bonneth, but that was... Slow it down to fast. So there you see it, unloads, immediately gets annihilated. We have calls of shenanigans in chat, <laughs> which I agree with. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Regardless, I'm going to move on to game three. Each player has taken a 
a game of peace. Thanks for listening.